What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Full Shock of the Nice It's Hedgehog here with our Week 5 battle here of the RGBL. We are going against Rid and his Lamiels. We are actually going to this battle. If you guys didn't see last week, we are going up in this battle 3-1. and one. A victory here could really help punch our ticket there because I believe this is a 9- or 10-week season. If it's 9 weeks, this gives us a good chance to kind of not exactly clinch, but ex a good way to kind of just pop, uh, push our momentum into the playoffs here. Uh, we do need to secure, I think, at least, and if we win this one, then we'll have to secure at least another two wins to guarantee our spot in the playoffs. But one step at a time, as they always say. So, with that being said, let us go ahead and get into this battle. <sighs> Excuse me. Double checked everything. I am nervous for this matchup because the thing with Rid's team is it's kind of all over the place. Like, he's got really good pieces to his team. No lie! That is really interesting to see no Latios. Wow! He did not bring Togekiss! Didn't bring the Magmortar. I mean, there was a possibility he could have brought that, but it's fine. So I am actually actually really happy with, with Culver. So we do have Crawdon. No Togekiss. We do see the um, Don fan, which not totally surprising. He might have needed something for the... the uh, bloop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -da. Um, and then a uh, Dust Noir. So his team's really kind of slow. Um, dude, I do I just lead with? He kind of loses to Celebi straight up, which is pretty funny. Um, man, if he also just kind of six O's. So, I see him probably leading off with the Empoleon for rocks. He could also lead off with the Heracross, potentially, or the Dust Noir. I feel like the Empoleon, Dawn Fan, or Dust Noir comes out. Rocks would be a little annoying, but they're not the worst. One lead ocean. So you do get the play right. Put Tail Glow up here. The. Reveals Yawn to me. So he's gonna get a Stealth Rocks up here. Do I go for damage on this Apollyon? These Utility Apollyon. Plus three. Shadow Bow with Shonkam. If I had to pick what I wanted to sleep, I think Manaphy is not the one I want to sleep. I'm gonna go Celebi. That was Dust Noir here. So very interesting. He was potentially willing to just sack that. Alright, so... Do Celebi... He has the Shadow Punch. How much you doing to me? 49 to 58. And if I'm plus 2... Hmm. 
You could Will O Wisp here. I'll go Spyware. Pain splits. Okay. Put agility up. So he's pain split. Very good information right there. So we know that he is yawn, which is definitely annoying. He is pain split. Very interesting on that play. I guess he was expecting me to attack him right there. So he could be Spadef. My Porygon Z is in now. We two shot him. This is like fully Spadef, then it could be a roll. And he's got the fighting move. He's got Brick Break. How much is he doing to me? Brick Break to my Porygon Z. Does do 50% if he's adamant. He's got Earthquake. And that did 28%. So he is not adamant. 100%. Uh, let's just see if he's careful. Yeah, we still two shot him here. Haze. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, we do 53%. I'm gonna fire off another Dark Pulse here. Let's protect. So he can't touch my Celebi. My agility here. Interesting. So we did 53% to him. He's got to be like max, max. Yeah, he's 100% like max, max. We do have a role to kill him here, but I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to agility up here. Because I think he expects me to more than likely click uh, Dark Bolt here. Knowing that. Um... This is a very weird Dust Noir set. This set, I feel like, doesn't make too much sense against my team. But it's proven to work for them. Protect, Earthquake, and then Haze. Let's go, baby! Get the prediction right. Let's go. So we should outspeed Heracross. If I did my calcs right. Yep. And try attack has a roll to kill him here. So I'm gonna just go for the try attack here. He wants to go Dust Noir, he risks getting flinched. Let's go, baby. And if he's guts, guts cross is gonna die to this. If I have to lose PZ, that would be unfortunate, but uh that would suck. Do get the roll, let's go, baby! We do get that roll. That was a damage roll. I will confirm that, that it was a damage roll on that. And we luckily got the damage roll. It was 31% chance. So about a 60% chance, 60% chance in his favor to live that hit. Woo! We got lucky on that roll. But he's going to probably bring Crawdon out. If I see Crawdon coming out, it's got priority. So the scariest thing is gone now. So that opens up the door for Hitmonlee now to really provide some pressure offensively here. So if I can get a bulk up, in comes Crawdon. He has to reveal that he's Aqua Jet, and I'm pretty sure this Aqua Jet's gonna kill me. Crawdon. Um, yeah, Jet does 42 to 50. He should kill me. If he's Life Orb, if he's Banded. That's another thing. It could be Sash as well. He could knock here expecting me to save this. Rodon just dies or whatever hit I do. I'll make a very risky play I'm gonna stay in. It does make the Aqua Jet play. We do live! Oh, let's go, PZ! 
PZ unfortunately takes himself out, but that is massive right there. Oh, baby, let's go. Okay, um... There's a lot of things you can go into right now. I'm gonna go Hawkeye. I think Hawkeye's my safest lead because... Or... Actually, I want to go Celebi. Celebi, I think, is safe no matter what I do here. This thing comes in polio, which is nice. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to nasty plot off here. He can yawn me all he wants, but then I go for Giga Drain, because it hits everything on his team for neutral, super effective damage. So positioned-wise, we're good. Yeah, that Crawdot, he only did, what, 44% to us? Ooh, he got a low damage roll right there. Which, don't get us wrong, that definitely sucks. But I did have Scarf. Is he going to be on me again? Flash Cannons, which is fine with me. Because Empoleon. If he's Utility Empoleon... With my Celebi plus two. Giga Drain does 54 to 56. I should do over half. He has standard utility. He's going to yawn me, which is fine. Oh, uh, he's at 49%. He knows this kills. The Snore. He is careful nature. He's sitting around 60%. Psychic does... Is it chance to kill him? I'm going to risk it in Psychic here. Yeah, I'm going to risk it in Psychic here. That should drop. Nice! Awesome. Dust Noir goes down. Which is fantastic. Nice. In comes the Needle King here. He's more likely going to pull off the Poison move right here. To my Azo. He is a yeah, standard set here. Come on, Lee. I think I honestly don't need Hitmon Lee, so I'm just gonna sack Hitmon Lee here. He does Sludge Wave. He does 64% to me. Yeah, he's a hundred percent life orb. One hundred percent life orb. He's a hundred percent life orb here. I am just gonna go ahead and sack this. Um, I'm going to click earthquake. Okay, that just dropped. Here comes the unbolt. Here comes Don Fan. Uh, I'm just gonna CC here. Get massive damage. I'm gonna get rocks back up. I'm just gonna chip this. So hit one lady gets another kill. I was not expecting. I could have prop. Well, I guess I could have propped it, but I was mostly sacking hit one lady here. 
Goes to 41. Spins. Gets a crit, but I don't think it matters. So did Dawn fan. Because so I could potentially just wrap this up with Star Raptor right now. Uh, Dawn fan. Uh, this 27 to 32. He's right in range. Um, Hitmon Lee's close combat did 45 to 53. Did 41. The Impish. To do 41%. Yeah, he's, he could be Impish with some slight defense investment. But I can always just go Azelf here and just kind of pick him off. Because Empoleon's weakened and I can beat that thing with Hawkeye afterwards. So yeah, I just go Azelf here. I just go Psychic. He does Shard. Dawn Man's going to go down. And Empoleon, if it's a utility set. Uh, Thunderbolt does 39 to 46. I should always love a hit from him. Thunderbolt this. Yawns me. Does have the protect. We got Manaphy here. Uh, can I just kill this thing roll right now? It's sitting at 13 to 15. It's a roll. Uh, I'm gonna just go for the tail go just to get the damage. And then plus three for this employee. I'm gonna do 33 to 38. This should kill. So Empoleon, unfortunately we're not gonna be able to win this with a four or five out right here. Very important. oh you just have to get it, okay. GG's. Ooh, man, that was scary, dude. Oh, man, that was scary. But G's to rid. We get some kills from... We get a kill from Manaphy, which is awesome. Uh, Hit on Lee, pick it off a KO. Azelf gets a KO. Porygon Z, dude. Coming in the clutch, dude. Holy crud. Porygon Z, man. What a game. GG's to rid. We move to 4-1. We're starting off the season really, really good right now. This team is just so good, dude. We've been playing just so good. I'm really, really proud of us. And um, I hopefully we can keep going with this momentum, guys. I think if we win at least two or so more games, we could clinch a playoff spot. I think we're going only top four out of, I think, 10 or 12 coaches, which I think is a little ridiculous in my opinion. So, But there's plenty of chances we can get knocked out of playoffs. But right now, we're looking really, really good. I forgot to change my profile picture again. God dang it. Anyways, GG Sarid, good games to him. And we played so good this game, guys. We played this game really, really well. But yeah, GG's to him, and I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, guys, peace.